Hello, my friends, welcome to episode 36. It's time for more Stalingrad. Ugh, I don't actually have enough combat strength to do one casualty. And therefore, I can't poke him and get him to surrender. How annoying is that? There we go. Now you'll surrender. Or not. Hmm. They must have the no surrender trait. That's very annoying. They must have the no surrender trait. That is very, very, very irritating to me. Because it means there's nothing I can do to get that prestige. Fine, you can just feed my flame tank. Three thousand five hundred prestige left to get. Still a good thousand in the turn counter and another three thousand on the map. See how long your infantry holds when the barbecue tank gets its hands on them. We know that that artillery has got secret friends behind it. Maybe not so secret. So they're protected by the anti-tank gun there. Yeah, I need this group to push down. Simple as that. This team cannot push by itself. It can do damage, but it can't push. We just know that this whole area is going to be infested, so... It's not like we can do some sort of grand encirclement here. That's just not going to happen.
wouldn't run away. Okay, now they run away. That was not the best set of moves ever, but okay, fine. I'm going to invite counterattack damage if I uh, if I use my last shot or my last bit of fuel. Ugh, I have actually taken a huge amount of damage there. There is actually just very little in the game that is good against infantry. Apart from, like, you know... Like, you know, cheesy... Cheesy moves. You know what I really need to do? Is to circle around and get this anti-tank gun. Because it's the linchpin of this defense. If it wasn't there, the recon cars could sneak in, do some damage and get out. But it's backed up by an anti-aircraft gun as well, so, uh, yeah. Screw it. Kill him. Kill them. Do you know what? If the infantry front line actually collapses totally, I can just run in there with my tanks and steamroller that artillery. Not this one, because it's protected, but these two for certain. Okay. That'll do. Ooh, they pushed in. It's not seem wise. Okay. Let's do this. Get the infantry. Oh god, there's loads of it. 
Nice. Okay, they're dead. Uh, what's left? Regulars. They've got forced march, so they'll probably actually just run up here and attack my flame tank, but it does have close combat rating protection, so it shouldn't take too much damage. This tank would take a lot of damage. I know there's nothing there, because there's been nothing there for a long time. Alright, next, next turn we break on through. Need one more turn. Before I'm ready to push through. But. I will maintain bombing range here. Ah, oh, why did I do that? I knew it was there. Why did I do it? <laughs> I knew it was there. Cost me four movement. One, two, four. I've only got six. If I went there, I wouldn't be able to do anything else. Okay, it's fine. Uh, it's nice to watch enemy artillery completely and utterly ineffectually go after tanks. Able to get a surrender on that. No. They seem to be surrender proof for some reason. Ugh, I really need to. I really need to delete that anti aircraft gun, actually. No. What a pain.
Well, I could barbecue it with this. God, even the tank can't damage it. This is a problem with a uh, hyper entrenchment. Can the tank damage it now? The tank can damage it now. Okay, sweet. And the artillery defends the tank. Perfect. Okay. Alright, fall back. You have accomplished what I wanted. The AA gun is gone. Alright, apparently they've got another one. But that's okay. This artillery is actually still providing too much support. Trying to decide how to approach this. I think I can force them to retreat. A bit like that. Now move here, that will set us up for a future attack. Okay, this front line is breaking, but I can't push the issue right this turn. It's too dangerous. Shame I've taken so much damage on so many critical units, but whatever. We're 12 turns in. The halfway point is 17, and I think we're almost at the halfway point. going for it. <sighs> Alright, well one of my fighter planes is out of the fight. Then again, I did buy an extra one specifically for the purpose, so...
Okay, apparently this is one tough fire. Oh, well, whatever. I don't want to waste one of my precious flame tank attacks on this unit. Surrender! Time for the linchpin to disappear. I wonder why I do so few damage to them. Okay. I've got this bunker to get past. hammering it down. I think this is, you know, the main bulk of the army here as well. Here and here is probably the main bulk of their their capabilities. Nice. Hmm, this unit will actually do way more damage. Three thousand prestige to go. One fifty. Three hundred, six hundred, nine hundred, one thousand two hundred, one thousand five hundred, one thousand eight hundred. 2,100. 2,400 on the board. Plus another 900 in the turn counter or whatever you want to call it. 
Hmm. I think this unit is too dangerous to allow to live, actually. Let's end it now. Okay, I actually want to be on the flat ground in case I get attacked by this ball of infantry, but I'm just going to use two turns and gratuitous flame to burn that. Okay. Oof. Another mauling. Oof. Oh, why did you run there? Although the enemy didn't attack you because you're in the close terrain. Uh, not in close terrain. Dear. Okay, I need you there to provide support. I gotta leave this flame tank with one fuel, otherwise, it's gonna be attacked non stop. Or do I? Yeah, I think so. Huh, no surrender. Now they surrender. So I can use that next turn. Oh, this terrain is horrible for me. I have to leave fuel in this because otherwise they'll attack. Whatever that plane is, it's tough. I need to get my anti-aircraft guns into position. If I wasn't desperately trying to save prestige, I would have reinforced these aircraft and used them, but... I mean, there are a lot of things I would have reinforced. But hey. I have no way to bring the anti-aircraft guns to bear without exposing them to hordes of Russian infantry.
Okay, this is an open tile. I don't think that they'll attack me in the open. This is an open tile, right? Yeah. Yeah, literally nothing I can do. <sighs> okay. Alright, he's back. Yeah, they attacked, but that was not good. Definitely not a wise move to attack there. At least that was simple. God, that anti aircraft gun is annoying. But I don't really have a great way to engage onto it. I don't think I have a good way of engaging onto it anyway. Okay. Now pushing my luck with this unit and taking out the anti-aircraft gun uh, would result in a counter-attack from these regulars that would do pretty serious damage to me.
I think the wise man takes them out. Sadly, my surrender tank is now so horribly damaged, I don't think it can make anything surrender now. Oof. Some sort of horrible, massive artillery over that side of the map. Okay, that feels like a mistake. Because we know that that super fighter is, uh, has run off somewhere to be repaired. Okay, I'll figure out what to do with my last flamethrower attack. Let's hope that there aren't too many down here. Who knows how many enemies are down in this region. And I'm halfway through the turns and I'm halfway through the enemy. Ten out of ten entrenchment, huh? Nice little surrender there. That's what we want gone. Alright, that's like mega overstrengthed heavy weapon infantry. Okay, let's hope this wall protects my uh, units here. I would have liked to have backed this away, but there's nowhere to back it away to, so... At least I can put it in the open tile here. You know, normally you'd repair your units to carry on a push like this, but...
All oh, right, I'm finally going to get that fire, it looks like. Nice. Do you know what? That's okay, because we're on a timeline. To be fair. I don't know how many uh, units the enemy has left, but we are on a timeline. Right, that fire is finally going to die. So happy to see the end of it. Of course it's cloudy. It's cloudy, so it's not going to die. Totally in the open. Oh, I can't believe those fighters are going to live because of the wretched weather. So it's another turn that they're going to be on my case. Although at least the bomber didn't do anything because... Uh... He saw all that... Uh... He saw all that air cover and he just was like, nope. Allow me to express my nopes. Man, these boys, they never want to surrender, do they? Fine. See if I care. That would be really dumb.
And I'm pretty sure that their air force is done, apart from these two. I suppose at some point this freebie unit, I should actually use it. He's back with 2 HP. And this time, it will be sunny. Ow! Holy conscripts, Batman! This, you know, it's a freebie wear infantry, that's why we wear. That's why, it's not engineers. No close defense. Still pretty amazing to watch conscripts do that kind of damage though. Anyway, we have 17 turns left to go, we're exactly at the halfway point. And I think we're actually more than halfway through the enemy. Because I'm pretty sure the bulk of their forces was here. So, join me next time. We're closing in. There is uh, 3, 6, 9, 1,200, 1,500, 1,900, 1,900 prestige left on the map. I need to encourage some surrenders or I'm not going to make it. Alright, that's it for now. I'll see you guys next time.